now I'm in Manchester in the UK. And it's kind of bittersweet because it's been raining it's gloomy and just... Ugh. After this month, we're not going to be flying back to Manchester from New York anymore. So I would have to go through Philly or some other base. But as a New York base flight attendant, we'll no longer have that route. So it's kind of bittersweet. So I wanted to make the best of this experience. So anyways, um, my coworker and I, Fatima, we went out. We we wanted to have afternoon tea because that's what they do in in, in um, the UK. They they get dressed up and they have tea and they sip with their pinky out and get their crumpets and pastry. It was really cute. It was really really cute. I got all dressed up. I felt like you know Audrey. I was feeling like some Audrey Hepburn, you know, breakfast at Tiffany's kind of vibe going on. Like that was what I wanted to do. So did that that was really fun it was delicious I was full I actually like wish I can go back downstairs again and have like afternoon tea all over again because it was that good like it was delicious so did that the tea was great the crumpets were great the butter something about the butter was like the best butter I've had in my entire life and then after that we went to we went shopping we stumbled upon this little um consignment shop a lot of famous people donate to that place and it's like a lot of brand new products that you know you can pretty much purchase for half the cost their main goal in life is to prevent world poverty they want to make sure that everyone is fed and everyone has you know a chance at life and it was like wow you know this is going towards a great cause they also focus on you know like woman empowerment and they have like symposiums and things like that and workshops for people to come in on top of that i found this place called primark which is like the number one shopping store in all of the uk it's pretty much like a walmart for like fashion it's really affordable and it's really nice clothing like you have a selection of everything you can do your it's a one-stop shop kind of place you can buy you know your, you buy from your undergarments all the way to your shoes, to your jacket, to your coat, to your, your hair products. You can buy makeup there. You can buy shoes. You can buy socks. You can buy toothpaste. You can buy candles. You can buy home, like bedding, everything. So it's great. It's great. And everything is really nice. But, like, I love their fashion there. Their fashion is amazing. And that one's the biggest one in all of the UK. So I was really excited to go there. Um, but stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to do a video about all the things that I bought at Primark. I got like two bags worth of clothing. So stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to share, I'm going to show you guys a uh, Primark. I'm doing a little Primark haul. You guys can see what I bought there. But yeah, they got some good stuff there. It's like Fashion Nova, but like the UK's version. <laughs> like, so yeah. Anyways, being a, a flight attendant is fun. I can't wait to share with you guys. I just hope you guys continue to watch my videos. And thank you for supporting me. Those of you who are watching, thank you so much for supporting me. And this is my very first video, and it's not, and most certainly not the last. So stay tuned. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> Should we move this out the way? Oh. She, I kind of like the plant. Does she have the plant for a second? Of course. <laughs> Thank you. Do whatever you want. Thank you. Design, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're having afternoon tea in Manchester. took a nap yeah like a nap. I didn't even realize that I was that tired until I got in the bed and I had an alarm set and everything I was like I'm gonna get up and do this and then I was like really motivated and then yeah, like... so everyone kind of has like well not everyone but a lot of travel bloggers have like a day in life kind of thing mm -hmm. I want to do something different where it's gonna be travel related but I'm also into makeup I'm also into hair I'm mm -hmm. also into all those different things mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I kind of want it to be like a lifestyle mm -hmm, blog mm -hmm. and then also like the topics that I'm going to talk about I mean, things that people don't talk about like yeah some of them will be the cliche like oh that's not a flight attendant or whatever mm -hmm. but then some of them will also be like being a black woman as a black attendant, or like dealing with um, passengers from all different cultures like being in another, another country that's out of our jurisdiction mm -hmm. things that are like really serious and people are like oh that's interesting 